decided to go back to the Murphy Museum and get my car today uh, because we left it up there because of the whole incident with the Cadillac. So we're going to drive up there real quick and then after that, what are we doing? I don't know. I think we're going shopping. Oh. On the road, what happened to your head? It's not sunny in the car. True. It's not sunny in the car. Tell these guys what kind of cars you have had in the past. I had a 51 Volkswagen Bug, but for a very short time until I smashed it into a tree. But it was cool. It Classic had a 51. Round window in the back and, yeah, and those little. Um, you know what those are worth turn now? Turn signal things that pop out. <laughs> yeah, I sold them for $200. Oh, but it was mushed. And then uh, I got a 69. Volkswagen bug, projecting mm -hmm. to the beach every day. Hippie bug. Yep. Okay. And then I had a 58 Corvette for a long time. His name was Leroy. Leroy, that bad Leroy Brown. Yep. So he was kind of brown. Yeah. He was cool. I sold him for twelve thousand. He's kind of beige. Yeah. Kind of brown. But brown sounds better. Yeah. yeah. Then I had a Honda in between, which was kind of cute. Honda Civic, little red, yeah. little red car, buzzed me all over till I smashed that. I yeah. had a 63 Corvette with flames on it. Yeah. I looked very cool in that because it matched my surfboard. So yeah. Until you surfboard. until you drove it off a um, a trailer. Right. And crashed we went that to one. sell it, and in the process of selling it, it hops over the trailer, and so we had to sell it for less. Yeah, it got crushed. I forgot about the 84. So oh, tell, what, what was the best story about the 84 Corvette? 84. I I love that car. It was cool. Oh, but Crossfire, on the you know. way to set one day, it was blowing up. You know, yeah. I mean, it's like no. smoke was coming. You know out. what? No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in the show notes. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna link yeah. up here Kathy's story about her '84 Corvette because that's hysterical. So what do you mean? That's a car story. But make sure that you watch that. And then Sean needed a car, so I gave him my Jeep. Yeah. I don't have a car now. Yeah. <laughs> I you don't, even, you don't, don't need care. a car now, no. man. We got like uh, we got like a hundred cars. All right. How's your uh, super Java? All right. Long trips require extended fuel capacity. I'm talking about us, not not our car. How much gas we got? to get this thing. Time to go back. Thanks, Ken. All right, got the Buick. Kathy's behind me. The day is still early. We got a bunch of things we're doing, but we're gonna go shopping next. Oh, hey, look what's driving by right now. The Cadillac finally made it back. Good news. Holy crap, that was a bad one. Uh, first accident of the weekend and a truck is already on its side. 
didn't look too good. Just another reminder how important it is to not be racing up and down PCH or anywhere for that matter. Keep it on the track, people. We just got back to the pad. Uh, Kathy's dropping off the dogs and we're gonna attempt to go back up into town, although that accident didn't look good and an ambulance just passed us. So we may not make it, we'll see. gardener's truck maybe i don't know it was wild yeah i don't think anyone was hurt although it does look pretty scary it's about nine thousand people out at the boo <laughs> i don't think there's nine thousand maybe eight we're gonna go get some some lunch early lunch where do you want to go chip all day okay back off buddy Him. That's Jerry Seinfeld sitting over there with his Porsches. One of them. Not really sure which one he was driving. Time for Chipotle. Always important to go shopping after you eat. You spend a lot less, you spend less time, and you get the things you only really want, right? I guess. We'll see. idea of what happens when the highway when there's an accident that happens on the highway it's quite a series of things that, that, that occur PCH not shut down but pretty bad for northbound then people start using our street to circumvent PCH and they go up our street at about 45 miles an hour only to come out the other side and they're basically in the same spot they were when they left PCH. Looks like we're in the house for good for the rest of the day. Uh, we can go outside. We can't really just drive anywhere. If you drive south, it'll take forever to get back. If you try to drive north, it'll take forever to get there. And it, it just, it's a cluster, it doesn't really matter. About 3.30, and Kathy is working on a peanut. Looks pretty good. Just gotta stretch the spandex on, take it on and off, on and off, until it fits perfect. Then, that's the work. The eyes, armholes, mouth and then you're going to airbrush peanut coloring and that's how we roll with a peanut while she's been doing that i've been watering cleaning doing stuff it's one of those days when there's no way to get up or down pch you might stay well at home work. might as well work <laughs> once again life is about change Things are changing constantly every day and the faster you can run with it and make it work for you, the better it is. We had a few cool cars today that we managed to uh, uh, scope out, but tomorrow it's Malibu Cars and Coffee, first thing in the morning. Let's get to it.